Gel injection to the knee, some additional information. You've seen about videos on the gel injection into the knee joint. So I just want to add some extra information on where that substance is concerned. And just as a refresher, this here is a model of the knee. Thigh bone, shin bone, uh, that's the kneecap. You have cartilage between the kneecap and the thigh bone. This blue here is also cartilage. You also have cartilage on these surfaces right here as well. And remember there is a lubricating fluid or syn uh, synovial fluid um, that also helps the knee to be to become lubricated and so it can move easily. The gel, this is a two milliliter syringe, where the gel is concerned. And of course, you, you want some more information on that. So here's some extra information. Okay, so as stated before, the gel, it is a temporary replacement for that um, synovial fluid or that um, lubricating fluid in the knee joint. The, the gel itself, it is actually um, useful in all stages of knee arthritis, um, mild, moderate, and severe. Uh, of course, if you give the gel in the mild or the moderate state, you're going to get um, better results as opposed to the severe state or what we would call loosely the bone-on-bone -bone type of arthritis. Okay, so also now the gel itself is most effective in people who are actually using the knee joint. You might think that a person who's sitting down a, a lot more will actually benefit more, um, but not so. It is actually most effective and can give the best pain relief in people who are actually moving around walking and moving up and down and those who are generally uh, want to keep active. Yeah? So if you get the gel, uh, we do encourage uh, activity after taking the gel as opposed to being sedentary. In terms of uh, injecting of the gel, the gel it is meant only for intra-articular use, in other words intra-joint use. When the gel is injected, it is meant to go within the joint space. The gel is not for use, for example, to be injected through a vein, uh, to be taken orally. Also as well, uh, let's say, for example, someone is trying to do a gel injection and they miss and they hit tissue um, that is outside of the, the joint space and that is not going to be very effective it is, it is not meant to be injected around the joint it is meant to be injected, injected directly into the joint okay so there's a bit of a difference there so who are not candidates for this uh, gel injection now with any drug with any food there are a certain percent of people there's a certain percent of people where who will have allergic reactions um, to those substances so of course if a person um, is allergic to the components of the gel uh, these people are not candidates for the gel so let's say a person goes in and they get the first shot and they have an allergic reaction to the first shot obviously you don't want to even attempt a second shot uh, an alternative will uh, be need to found for such persons uh, another um, um, group of people who would not be candidate for the gel injection are those for example if a person has varicose veins or lymphedema which uh, has led to swelling all the way up to the knee um, such persons will not be candidates for the gel injection so we need to have those uh, conditions properly managed or resolved before we can even attempt doing uh, an injection into the knee joint and then there are those who have uh, maybe an infection uh, around the knee and um, if it's not superficial uh, infection on the skin of the knee would exclude a person from getting that injection the reason for that being is if the person has a uh, infection on the skin and you inject and you break the skin what what can happen here is that you can actually transfer bacteria from the skin um, all the way into the joint capsules now as a side note if you look at our videos um, we do clean with the alcohol first on the skin then we pass um, iodine as well and then we use the sterile gloves okay so we try to be as clean as possible uh, when we are doing a joint injection any joint injection and uh, not just the gel but even with the steroid and the plasma we take those precautions by cleaning the knee properly and using sterile gloves and of course the one of the main questions is um, how long does the gel injection last so let me read it off the pamphlet uh, that came with the gel okay so duration of effect generally the duration of effect for those patients who respond to treatment has been reported up to 26 weeks although shorter and longer periods have also been observed however prospective clinical data in knee arthritis patients have shown benefit of treatment up to 52 weeks that's one year following a single course of the three gel injection Okay, so there you have it. So uh, the range I can give you according to the data that comes with the gel, it is um, six months to one year. Okay, some of course will not get the full six months depending on the severity of their situation. Also the lifestyle changes if they chose to lose weight, adjust their footwear, if they um, decided to continue exercising. Okay, and then there are those uh, who benefit um, for the full year and even beyond. Uh, again, to, uh, this is highly likely due to changes that they have chosen to make after receiving the gel. So I hope this uh, video 
get a bit more light on the on these types of injections and keep in mind we also offer steroid and plasma and not just the gel we also offer physiotherapy uh, for those who have received the shot and even those who um, don't want the shot and have not done any therapy they can um, get the therapy service here done at the clinic so you can contact us at 747-5297-308-3370 uh, we are at number 4 Chinkuna Gardens in Chinchin Road in Kunopia that is just one minute away from the Kunopia police station when you turn up by the traffic light by the Kunopia police station and you're driving as if you're heading towards uh, Madras or Las Lomas drive for about a minute look out on your right hand side you will see a purple and white sign saying progressive health services by a white upstairs and downstairs building okay you can also send us your x-rays your blood tests um, via whatsapp we can take a look at it and then we can advise you from there